Hello, I'm Tom. And I'm here with Neville Slave, CEO of Vasaro. Hello. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, this isn't your first expo. It's not your first rodeo. You've been here no. before, right? Fourth, fourth expo. Fourth in a row? No, we, 2019, we came last time. So, yeah, we've had a bit of a gap. We've all been hiding in our yeah, little yeah. holes for a couple of years. Doing and, sim uh, racing though, right? Designing, building, yeah, not, not much sim racing, just like, Using the opportunity to create new things and, and, and actually to expand our company, yeah, to grow nice. the company. So, what yeah. do you think of the new hall? It's uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's massive, a, it's a whole it? different experience to the previous expo, but yeah, we're enjoying it so far. We're right in the city and loads of restaurants. And, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I'm enjoying the big like German like moose knuckles and like the, the steins of beer. It's great. It's, yeah, okay. It suits me down to the ground. I'm, okay, I'm just on the grey goose. Vodka after <laughs> after a hectic day, what, nice glass of grey goose. So after I'm, all I'm these happy. pesky interviews, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so as always, Vasaro comes with like the sexiest looking booth out of everyone. It's very like imagine you have a I don't know. I'm thinking like a penthouse with like floor to ceiling glass windows overlooking a view of I don't know San Francisco Bay or whatever, and you've got your grand piano there, and then you've got your Vasaro rig there. That's yeah, kind of, that's like the, the, the brand, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's, yeah. I feel like that's what you kind of achieve when you arrive. It's very spaced out. You've got the the glass top yeah. uh, black desk with the gaming chairs around it. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, it's a bit too big. Like, <laughs> We won a couple of cars next time. Nice. Uh, we had like a McLaren on the stand in 2019, and uh, we kind of wish we had, wish we had that here today, and uh, yeah. fill the space out of it. But yeah, we've got plenty of space to walk around and talk to people, and so, yeah, it's all good. We're, we're excited. So since the last expo, obviously, the, I would say from an outsider's point of view, the the big headline piece of news that's come out of Vasaro is your partnership with the F1 Arcade and what yep. you did with Kindred Concept and the rig there. So tell us about that, that must have been nuts. Yeah, I mean, we were approached with this like insane concept that you know F1 was gonna essentially build these entertainment centers and really take sim racing to the masses, uh, but in a, in a way that it would work for the masses, not just um, like really hardcore simulation, which we yeah. were all on board with, because we've always, as a company, tried to be accommodating to like a wide range of different types of users. We're not just hardcore, it only has to be iRacing, it can yeah, only be yeah. these pedals, it can only be aluminium profile, yeah. it can only, like, that's not really what we're about because you need solutions that will cater to different types of requirements, especially in the commercial space. And um, so yeah, there's this project and we're like, okay, this sounds amazing. F1 are invested in it and the company Kindred Concepts have got a massive track record of doing successful venues and concepts. So we're like, okay, we're all on board. And um, we you know, developed a simulator. We'd already kind of been designing a simulator. Yeah. We then kind of adapted that, made it work for what was needed. What did you have um, to make work? What did you have to specifically adapt for the center? So, I mean, there's certain things we've done in terms of making it like really safe to use right um, you can walk around the thing completely there's no cables everything's integrated um, it's you know the simulator as a whole is fully certified UKCA C certified as a, as a complete product yeah, right as opposed to a lot of places where you have say I don't know a track racer cockpit with a simu cube wheel with you know BenQ monitors and they're all separate right yeah and those individual parts will have like their individual certifications but yeah. the whole product as a whole yeah. is what we've you know what we've developed and um, so and then there's you know various features we you know worked with F1 to um, integrate the rear the lights you know which is on the latest ones yeah. on the on the rear fins and we've got that on the on the outer sides of the yeah of the F1 car but various other things that's specific to venue to make it work like the F1 arcade version has two monitors and two PCs that are integrated into the body. So there's actually two computers in this very small footprint simulator, um, and it's really clean looking, and, and there's no cables. Yeah. And, and we're like pretty, yeah, we're pretty proud of that. And that was specific to work in that kind of venue. Yeah. Uh, and what we've actually got on show today is the the, the private version, private, the sort of director, yeah. private customer yeah. version, which is sort of our version of it got changes and specific things that are what we wanted to do with the product um, that consumers can put in their homes right. basically. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, 
yeah, and as a, as a whole, the project we've just delivered um, 60 simulators into venue in their in their London venue. Um, How did it go? Like, was it was it just a yeah? They just arrived. We plugged them in and they worked, and that was it. That was exactly in it. and out in we, a day. We literally <laughs> wheeled them in and they just <laughs> fell into place. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. No it's, problems at all. It's a big it's a big installation. We had yeah. 20, 20, 20 members of our team go up, and we installed over 10 days. Right. We had five juggernaut full lorries, one arriving each day, and um, you know we had teams unloading teams. Transporting, yeah, yeah. team setting up, nice. final setup, quality control. So there's a whole like military process in order to do that. And that was while there was builders and electricians right. climbing all over yeah, us. Yeah. So it was a bit, it was a bit of a crazy process. But yeah, we pretty cool experience there, right? I, I yeah. imagine. That, well, I don't know. I'm not gonna put words in your mouth. What's the highlight of uh, of like your Vasaro journey so far, like with this feature? With with, with F1 arcade or with, yeah, with... F1 arcade, yeah highlight of the F1 Arcade? No, I, I'm asking like, um, would your partnership with the F1 Arcade feature like in your top five highlights of what you've done so far with Vasaro? I don't know. Oh I really? Know. <laughs> I thought you'd be like, yeah, it was F1, everyone wants to work with F1, that's awesome. But we, like, you know, every project, like we're really just focusing on like, the product being really amazing. And yes, it's F1 and yes, it's this, but it's always really about the product and, um, yeah. And everything we do, you know, we've built this really cool vintage simulator over here. I saw here. that. And in, at the moment, this is a real highlight for me. And That's cool. It's so much fun. Yeah. And we're loving it. At the moment, it's just one. Right, so okay. It's not the scale. We've yeah, just built yeah. one. Um, but it's like still a highlight. And, but yeah, there's been lots of highlights. We did a really cool license with uh, McLaren. So a three-year license. And we, um, you know, went up to their headquarters, worked with their design team, had their test drivers. Um, developing, you know, helping to develop the simulator yeah, with yeah. us, and we integrated the you know, full McLaren seat, the electric adjustment, and a full McLaren wheel. That's very cool. You know, and it was a it was a cool thing. It was before we were kind of doing the like the full body shell design. Yeah. Back then, if we had had the skills now, we would have built like a really cool McLaren yeah. in themed uh, I mean, that would look sexy, body right? shell. So yeah. maybe you know maybe that's our next license. Nice. When a car company comes along that we, you know, is going to work for us, we're pretty, we're pretty strict. Like, it doesn't matter if, who it is, Ferrari, Lamborghini. Yeah. Like, it's got to work for us nice. um, as a company. So that was that was a, a highlight. That was exciting. Um, there's been there's been lots. It's been you know? well, that's, I mean, well, yeah. the great problem to have. But it's yeah. difficult to choose between all your highlights. What was the motivation for this one? Like, where did this one come about? The classic. Yeah. The Bavaria Classic Show. Right. Okay. So we've got this huge vintage classic car show right next door. We've always toyed with classics before and we've had customers that have said, um, can you provide us a classic wheel? Mm -hmm. So we put a classic wheel on and then maybe they've got a GT wheel as well. We've always enjoyed playing the classic wheels, but we've never gone, let's do a completely bespoke classic simulator yeah. with all the details mm -hmm. and really make it feel like you're, you know, you've just sat in an old vintage car. So this, you know, the show being right next door kind of forced us to go, yeah, let's do it. Let's build something really cool that's completely dedicated, not just, well, we'll load that classic car up and you have that kind of experience. Mm. Make sure you get a chance to, yeah, 100 to try well. it. Yeah. It's the most amount of fun, um, it's absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, so that, that's why that exists. And then we're going to see how it kind of pans out, see what people think. And then maybe we'll make a, a range, like you know, like yeah, our other yeah, ranges, yeah. with a more cool. affordable version, and then go up through the stages yeah. to make it kind of accessible to different customers. So, and I, and I feel like Vasaro seems to always nail its partnerships. Like Vasaro always has very kind of meaningful partnerships with the best brands in the space in which you're trying to partner. So for example, here we can see Vasaro with D-Box. Like, you, you know, you've chosen each other to be your partners. Yeah. And then you had the partnership with F1. F1. You kind of go for a, a certain premium level of, of, of partnerships. Like, is that is that kind of the, the USP almost of Vasaro? Is these is kind of working with other brands to make these experiences? Uh, not, not intentionally. I think if you, the way Vasaro has gone is, we've really focused on really going premium. And when you're building premium, the only way to build the best premium solution is you just have to work with the best products. 
and you end up then working with the yeah. best partners in the industry. If you're picking the best product, you're then working with the best types of companies and, um, and then you find a synergy between them. Some of the best products, we don't have synergies. Yeah. And so we don't use them. Even if they've actually got a really good product, we need to have that kind of yeah. personal relation, that right. personal synergy. D-Box, we'll be going to dinner with them and we'll nice. be hanging out. And you know, I've got friends now at D-Box. Um, Stefan walking past there, good guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got friends at D-Box, ex D-Box VP. We went, um, we visited London recently and we went out with the family sightseeing. Nice. You know, so yeah. That's it's, great. It's uh, yeah, great. Yeah. And that's really important because when the hits the fan, yeah. you need those relationships to be like, yeah, we need a hand you, here. Yeah, can you help us out? Yeah. Um, if you don't have that, if they're just a supplier, you can't deliver. And when, you're, when your clients are, you know, high net worth, commercial, professional racing drivers, things are needed now. Yeah. I need to train. You get one chance, right? Yeah, you've got to be able to deliver. And then you need to be able to call on those suppliers and tap into those relationships who will just go that extra mile. They'll be like, I'll make that happen. I'll get that to you. Um, and you can then deliver that level of service that mm -hmm. yeah. the types of customers that Vasaro has needs. So yeah. it takes a real specific network. Uh, we get a lot of companies want to, to, us to take on their products. Um, we always say, look, you can send us your product, but we'll be testing it for six months at least. Yeah. We, we need to know when this thing breaks. And at the point it breaks, we're going to ring you and how quickly you respond how ah, well you respond because yeah, yeah. it's got to be in line with how we respond to our customers uh, yeah so you're almost yeah. testing as a customer so as a Vasaro customer so you yeah. just have it yourself and then at the moment it breaks it's like well let's see what the support system's like that's very clever. yeah exactly because our customer will we'll deal with them immediately like literally within the hour yeah we'll be helping them if our supplier for a part has got a much slower yeah yeah not as careful not it reflects on you, right? Well, we, we, can't, we just can't deliver our yeah. service. So we can't say to a customer, you know, this is the service we're going to give you when you buy our product, mm. except if your pedals break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, then yeah. Then that bit will be that slower it, right? because that supplier is a bit slow or not as good. Yeah. So each supplier we work with delivers at that level that we, that we deliver at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it shows. It shows, right? I feel like the, the Vasaro stand always has a very kind of premium feel to it. And I suppose this is the best place to, to develop partnerships, right? Meeting yeah. people face to face and, yeah. and going off and speaking to all the different manufacturing providers. You've probably Zoom, you probably had Zooms with or you probably had emails yeah. with yeah. to then go and meet them face to face. Yeah, exactly. There's some new products as well, so it's a good opportunity to, to fill the new steering wheels. Anything that's get, on your radar that you want to go and test? Yeah, a few things. Simicube's active pedal. Yeah, like, yeah, that looks absolutely like and a game changer. We already use Simicube in um, several of the of our most of our professional sims mm. use Simicube. So we know the quality, we know what to expect. Obviously Husingfeld's here. Yeah. They've uh, supported us um, on a couple of our simulators. We've got the E NASCAR rig going on the stage. Yeah. Um, we've been working with Mozza lately, new company. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've got a one of their wheels on the on the V Zero sim. Um, full integrated colour screen, no cable, which is what we want for that type of product. Yeah. The yeah, motorsport yeah. systems, our customers, some of them actually want the cable. Right, okay. Which Feels is, a bit more like Yeah, we actually edgy. had some feedback recently and we said, well, we've got a wheel without cable if you want. He's like, nope, I want the cable because my race car has one. Has the cable. Interesting. And I, and I want the cable knocking on my knees. Yeah, yeah. So it feels like the real realistic. thing. Um, which is quite interesting for us to hear because yeah. we would have thought you just You think that level of detail, you know, doesn't detract from the immersion, but clearly it does. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's just about recreating it as close as possible. So, Great. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your time. Really Pleasure. appreciate it. No and uh, we'll catch you around the expo. Yeah. Cool. Good. Cheers. We'll, uh, we'll speak again maybe on the, on the podcast. That'd be great.